Welcome back to the last minute sewing club. I'm clearly living up to the name again because I'm going out tomorrow and what a shock, not got an outfit ready. I need a glamish kind of outfit um, and I've not started. So I was scrolling through the gram as you do and I saw this pink Valentino sparkly sequin dress with matching shoes and instantly thought I need this in my life. But sadly, I don't have a money tree, not made of money unfortunately, so I'm going to attempt to make a bougie dress on a budget. So I have this fabric which is beautiful, so you can see how sparkly it is, um, and it's the perfect pink colour, it looks very like the um, Valentino pink, and kind of like the 2023 colour of the year, so we're bang on trend. Um, so this is the fabric that I've got, which looks quite similar to the Valentino one. Um, and from what it looks like, the shape of the dress looks really basic. It's like an oversized dress, um, like quite boxy shape. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a really quick and easy sew. Um, that should only take me about half an hour. We'll see. Um, and yeah, I'll show you how I'm going to do it because I think this is going to be a really good and easy project for a beginner um, because the shape is so basic it'll just you can make it as oversized or fitted if you want to but the construction of it should just be really easy. So to start I've just folded over my fabric so I've got a double layer and straightened it out. So as you can see I've just got an old shirt that I made for myself a while ago um, I just wanted to use it as a base to go around because it just makes my life a bit easier. It has the same boxy shape as the Valentino dress from what I can see, but I just added a bit to the length because it was short. <laughs> For anyone that wants actual measurements, these are the ones that I used. Now I'm onto the sleeve, so again I just fold over the fabric, draw on the sleeve, but added a bit of length compared to the original shirt. Again, for those that want measurements, this is what I did. Just to warn you, if you're doing sequins like me, you'll still be finding them for the next 10 years on your floor, even though you've hoovered. Thread the bobbin. And with right sides together of the front and back piece, pin at the shoulders and stitch. Now it's time to attach the sleeves, and this is going to be the easiest sleeve you've ever sewn. You're welcome. So it's helpful to find the centre of the sleeve piece and then you can attach that to where the shoulders join on the seam so as it's even each side. Be under no illusion, I would normally not pin this. However, the fabric is really stretchy and it's got so many sequins on it, I would recommend pinning everything before you actually sew it so as it doesn't move. As an extra precaution, I've also used a walking foot so as it'll feed the fabric through evenly. Otherwise, sometimes you might get puckering and it might be really wobbly, so this helps. Just to give you a better view, there's the neckline on the left and then this is what it should look like. So all I need to do now is make sure it looks like a sleeve during the seams, as you can see here, and then stitch all the way down here. Who am I? I never do this much pinning, but it is worth it. I've also used a jeans needle instead of a normal needle because I can't be bothered with it snapping halfway through. Okay, first try on, and I like it. I just need to round the neck and take a little bit out of the front. Um, and I need to uh, take a tiny little bit off the sleeves, I think, and definitely make this bit shorter. The Valentino one is a lot shorter, but overall I'm quite happy with the fit of it and it's the look I'm going for, but yeah, just needs to be shorter. So the first alteration that I'm doing is rounding off the neck. So I've just folded it in half and cut to the shoulder. Next I'm shortening the sleeves and then the hem and I'm being quite cautious because I can always take off more, not add it. Okay, so this is the second try on now. Um, I've cut a little bit off the length, which I think is actually perfect for me now. Um, and I've rounded it off the neck a little bit more so as it just sits nicer. I'm happy with that. I think I'm going to take a tiny bit more off the sleeve length and then yeah, I think I'm happy with it. 
waist knot want not this was the piece that I cut off the hem and I'm going to fold it in half and sew it so as I can make myself a cute little bow to match. I'm also considering making a headband with this scrap piece but that's another day's project. I'm making the bow. This is about 30 centimetres long and you just fold it in half, stitch all the way around the edge but leaving one end open. So now you need to turn it the right way round. So I just use an old knitting needle to push it all the way through. And here, I should have pulled the knitting needle out first, but I didn't, but it's fine. So yeah, you just pull it all the way through and then you've got all the raw edges concealed and it looks really neat. Now do the same again, but for a shorter piece and turn it the right way. And this is going to be used for the middle of the bow. So I just folded it over, stitched down the centre so that it looks kind of like a bow, wrapped the next piece around the middle, stitched it down, and then you should have a bow. The final step now is to just get a hair clip and then slot that through the part of the bow, as you can see, and it's good to go. And while I'm at it and had a bit of spare fabric, I thought, why not? I'm just going to make another pair of feather cuffs. So here we are. The feathers are now glued on and they're just going to be left to dry overnight. Again, your gal is not wasting money on Valentino shoes. So Primark £13 will do just fine. So we have the shoes. And we have the outfit. And a matching bow. Obviously, like I love it, like the sparkle is just beautiful, like I just love the slouchy fit, like obsessed. So this is the little bow that I made um, and I've just added a little clip on the back and then just clip it into your hair and then it's done, like it's cute though. Um, I just need to decide now, do I wear the feather cuffs with this outfit or no? What do we think? Let me know in the comments. I think that's a pretty good interpretation of the Valentino dress. The only thing I would change next time is I would make the sleeves a little bit wider so as it's more like the original dress. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with it and save myself three grand.